what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overlord here so i just got done watching a quiet place 2 in the dolby cinema so this will be my spoiler preview review for the film that you'll be hearing tuesday morning uh at the time of it being uploaded it'll be tuesday morning a quiet place 2 honestly i i have to say that this movie was a lot more fun than the original it wasn't as emotionally heartfelt as the original with some of the moments that happened in that first movie but it has a lot of strong moments for certain characters in it that i feel like are going to pay pave the way for what could come in the future if they decide to make this into a full-fledged franchise uh definitely think this movie was m double the d obviously it's double in its tension that it has it's double in terms of the character progression i like the fact that we're focusing more on the abbott family and the children in this family because the children of this family are going to be the ones who are going to have to grow up in this world and i like that there's time spent to recognize that that they have to learn how to function on their own without their parents without having emily blunt's character around because she won't be around forever she is their mother but she's not going to be around forever and they're going to have to learn some traits so that they can learn to navigate in this world so that humanity can stand a chance against these things that are now existing honestly uh killian murphy his whole con contributions to the movie his inclusion here as emmett he turns out to be a former friend of the family that's his connection to the to the whole film his addition was something that i thought was rather lukewarm he as a whole as the performance wise he delivers like killing murphy always does he i think killing murphy's a phenomenal actor i just thought that his inclusion was rather lukewarm he does exist of course to just kind of stand in for the absence of john krasinski this time around but otherwise every everyone performance wise they deliver definitely from millicent simmons in particular as you've heard probably from countless other people her portrayal of reagan abbott in this film the the deaf daughter she is amazing she is like the hope that she's like the only sense of hope that you want to latch onto in this movie because while everyone else around her is telling her no you can't do this you can't do that you can't you can't you can't this is not going to work it's too late there's no hope she is not giving up she wants to make the world somewhat of a better place for those who are out there still that are fighting against these things and after we know we discovered that they have vulnerability to those high frequency sounds that she discovered her and the family discovered at the end of the first film she uses that and the way it's used in this movie to kind of progress her character forward and make her kind of the standout in her family as this symbol of hope it's really f heartwarming to see and there's a moment in the film where both herself and her brother they have moments where they are kind of finding their own strengths and it's beautifully brought to life and the way it's shown on screen while Marco Beltrami's score plays in the background, it really draws your attention in. You're wanting to root for these two kids because that's all they are. They're kids and they're going to have to stand on their own in this world. And it gives you that glimpse of hope that they will be able to do that. Also, the direction from John Krasinski, he just really keeps you on the edge of your seat during this whole movie. There is not a single moment where I thought that I should... I had to honestly take my mask off a couple of times because that's how tense he's keeping this movie. You're on the edge of your seat from start to finish. There's not a single moment where you will not want to. You're you're kind of paying attention to every single little move that these characters could make because you don't want anything to happen to them. You don't want anyone necessarily to die. There's not a single unlikable character outside of this group of individuals. There's like a colony of sorts of people who have, of course, they have their own ways of life that we don't really get to even really see because of something that happened. So I hope if they if they give us more entries in this universe, we'll get to expand on what exactly they're all about, because it's clear that there's some colonies of people out there who, of course, are not going to be under the same agenda as everyone as far as far as like sticking together, unless you're going along with whatever ideologies they have about living in this new world with these people. This is honestly probably the best post pandemic movie you could watch in the theater. I think this movie should be experienced in the theater. Marco Beltrami's score, every time I hear his scores, I just, I think back to Scream 4. For those of you who watch my channel, I think back to Scream 4 and it's like, bro, where, where was this energy with Scream 4? Like his, he's an amazing composer and he, he doesn't disappoint here either. He keeps this movie, he, his music adds that extra level of intensity behind the moments that you're going to feel that dread and want to 
kind of look away from the screen his music accompanies those scenes so well and there's transitions that occur in this movie that john krasinski pulls off so well where you're on you're just holding your breath for all of these characters you're constantly just holding your breath for them to make it out alive and the creature designs again are on point yeah i get it they look like the demogorgons from from stranger things i get that i completely understand that emily blunt she's amazing again as evelyn abbott the now only surviving parent coming out of the events of the original movie and she delivers a very good performance but again the standout here was millicent simmons it, it definitely was she was the the heart and soul of taking us into whatever is to come next for this for this franchise because she was the only character in this movie while everyone else is very likable in their own ways she is the the she's the light at the end of the dark tunnel that they're currently in she's the light that they all want to look away from but she wants to keep on shining and she doesn't let that stop her from wanting to set out and do what she feels is going to be best to better the community that is out there that are wanting to learn how to live amongst these creatures fight against them and not let these things tear humanity down and overrun this earth like they already are on their way to doing noah jupe as marcus abbott he's great phenomenal child performances here in this movie there they're all just great they're all great the performances do not disappoint i feel like the writing was a little bit uh uh, uh, honestly there's no problem with the writing other than the course the logical mishaps that you would probably sit back and think well what if what why didn't you do this why didn't you do that well that doesn't really make sense i wouldn't have done that well, it's easy to say you wouldn't have done that until you're actually in this position a quiet place 2 again is one of the rare sequels that surpasses the original similar to scream 2 again for those of you who watch my channel i will put this above the first movie i, I appreciate the character progressions and the more focus on being on having an interest in developing the characters more specifically the children and i appreciated john krasinski's direction here a lot more he definitely was having a lot more fun here i think he was having double the fun here than he had with the original film it's just a very good movie all around a very worthy addition to this franchise let me know what you guys think about this down in the comment section below if you haven't already make sure you subscribe turn on post notification and miss a video in the description i have links on my social media accounts on my facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there of course let me see movies news or reviews you'll have me to cover in the future with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video